Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. So I went ahead and <laughs> after I looked at this for a second, I was like, yeah, you know, I should probably throw the management network in there. And I just added this little cloud right here and showed my laptop hanging off of it. And and how it's connecting to the Los Angeles, this switch down here. As you notice, I, I don't have a connection going to eSwitch. Uh, I'm sorry, this SMC Ethernet switch, okay? So that means we're gonna have to set up some routing from my laptop uh, through the gateway and down into the this SMC Ethernet switch. Because uh, I don't believe, and I, I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can SSH into this guy. Otherwise, we could just SSH from here to here, right? And that won't be a problem. And then from the router, we could SSH to SMC. The uh, SMC uses a GUI, and and so we need to be able to go, we need to be able to ping from here all the way through down here to this SMC switch and then back. And also we'll have to do the same for the phones when we get some IP addresses on them. Cause right now they're sitting there flapping in the wind because we don't have a DHCP server. So first things first, we need to uh, uh, set up our routing. So let's do that. Okay, so I pulled up a, uh, a command window I'm using uh, my laptop's got Windows 7 on it. I don't remember what the commands are for the uh, the Mac, but I'm sure they're easy enough to Google. And what we want to do is, is, so my laptop doesn't know where the 13 network lives. And so we just need to tell it, say, we're going to build a route in my laptop that points it to this management interface right here, okay? That's simple enough, right? And if you don't remember the commands, which I always forget because I don't do this every day, uh, you can just type in route and it dumps out how you're supposed to do it. And so we're going to do the, uh, it's got examples, those are easiest to look at. So we're going to do route add, then what network you're going to, what its mask is, and the gateway. Oh, here it is, destination, mask, gateway, and metric, and interface if you need to do that. We just need the destination, Mac, and mask, and gateway. So we're going to do... Uh, Route add uh, 192.168.1.13.0. Might as well do the whole network because we want to get to the phones later as well, right? Mask is 255.255.255.0. And, uh, and we're going to be going via this uh, 1.73 interface, right? So we have 192.168.1.73. Three. Yep, sorry about that. When you open this command window in Windows, um, you need to run it as administrator. I made a screen cap real quick. So so when you uh, type CMD down here in the uh, in the search box, <laughs> if you will, click in the search box anyway with Windows users, you know what I'm talking about. It pulls up this cmd.exe executable. And if you right click on that, then you can click right here as run as administrator. And that way you can um, run this as administrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this. I'm going to just do what I showed you there. CMD, right click. I know you guys can't see this. Run as administrator, yes. So let's do that command again, shall we? It's um, route add 192.168.13.0 mask. 255.255.255.0 and we want it going via 192.168.1.73. All right, now if you just do a route again, it should, oh, sorry, it's a route print. And where is it? Here it is right here. All right, and it just automatically gave it a metric 11. Okay, let's see if it works. So let's uh, ping. We'll go ahead and just ping the router 13.1. That's the VLAN IP address. So uh, 192.168.1, 13.1. Yep. Okay, so that's good. So the, you know, the router knows how to get to the dot one network and it knows how to get to the dot 13 network. Uh, when we configured our SMC uh, in a previous video, we set its default gateway to this 13.1. He doesn't know how to get to the dot one network. He should know to send everything to the 13. 
right? Uh, 13.1 is default gateway, so we should be able to get to him. Let's go ahead and do, ping him real quick. So it's 13.41. Oh, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Uh, it kind of scared me. I was like, oh no, this isn't going to work. Uh, figures it wouldn't work on a video, right? Anyway, it did. Okay, so this is just a temporary route. Okay, so if, if I reboot, or when I reboot my PC, uh, this route is going to go away, right? Uh, what we need to do is we need to add, if you want to keep it permanent, you need to add, uh, let's see if I can find it here real quick. Um... There it is, persistent. And I'll go ahead and add that for you. So we're gonna have to delete the old one first. So uh, we'll just, let's, let's do a route print real quick. Okay, so route print. Okay, and so we wanna delete this one right here. And I believe we just have to type that in. Let's try that real quick. So do route, uh, delete, then 192.168.1, oh, sorry, 13.0. Oh, okay. Oops. Route print. Uh, yep, yeah, it's gone. So now we want to add the persistent uh, flag. I think it's just going to be route add then hyphen P. Let's try that real quick. Uh, route add hyphen P. And then it's the same thing. 192.168.13.0. Mask. 255.255.255.0 and we want it using 192.168. or it's going via. I sh it should say via right here. But uh oh sorry, I don't want to confuse you, but it's going via 192.168.1.73, right? Okay, now if we do a route print, all right, now we've got it in there and does it say it's persistent? I thought it did. Here it is down here, persistent routes. And that will last through a reboot. Yeah, we can make sure it works. Uh, I'm not gonna reboot my laptop. <laughs> you just have to trust me on it, it works. So we're going to uh, ping uh, 192.168.13.1. And yep, everything's hunky-dory. So that's it. So don't forget, you can support the Network Engineering Video Blog by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, <laughs> that's about it for this video. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. That helps, and hit the subscribe button. That really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.